Okay guys, welcome back. So we thought we'd run a little test today uh, on, a, on a part of the golf club that we don't normally focus yeah. on and we actually feel is, is you know, often overlooked in the, the club fitting process and that's mm -hmm. actually the role of the grip and the, the role of selecting the right grip. Yeah, it, the, I think for most people they pick it based on looks. Myself included, that was often the way I did it. Yeah. You go into a shop, whatever it comes with, I mm -hmm. think people take what it comes with off the rack most of the time. Yeah. Or you see your buddies with kind of a new blue one or something and you're like, ah, oh, those look good, throw those sure. on there. And there's, especially for me, which we'll get into, there's so much difference in how they feel yeah. and, and how your comfort level and confidence plays into that, that mm -hmm. you got to give it a lot more thought, I think. There's, there's technical benefits um, to the sort of grip design mm -hmm. and we talk about it all the time and compare it to, to like you know tires so uh, yeah, you know right. on the road so you get certain certain uh, grips that have you know a very aggressive tread to them um, you know maybe have some cord through them and then we kind of maybe compare that to like an all-weather tire right then you might take a, a grip that's more of, of the softer kind like a, a wind or something like that you know which we've tested today mm -hmm. which is a bit like you're kind of racing slick if you like exactly so you know less I, texture right? yeah much less texture um, but in, in a much softer softer feel so, you know, the, the idea I think that most people have is, well, one just feels soft and one feels a bit firmer. Mm. But in actual reality, they have, a, a, they have, you know, technical implications, they have performance implications that, that you guys can actually be hindering your performance by not using yeah. the right texture or the right feel. Great. So we want to do a little test today with Matt's driver. Mm. Um, Matt plays the Golf Pride uh, New Decade multi-compound with the new Align feature on the yeah, back. which I love. <clears throat> you really like it, don't you? And I've been playing the same one for a while. And I said to Matt this morning when we came in, I said, do you ever feel that when you use a grip that's not your, your, your normal grip, your gamer, that you, you can't swing as well or, or as fast? Uh, I, found, I found myself practicing with a driver that wasn't mine the other day, and I, and I really saw my numbers go down, and I was bizarre. Mm -hmm. Went back to my driver, and all of a sudden they were back up again. Mm. So uh, I wanted to do that test uh, today, and, and we found some really interesting results, didn't we? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm I'm a person that, based on how comfortable I am, like if it's been raining a bit and, right. and my, I don't have my rain gloves on, mm -hmm. I have a hard time hitting good shots. Yeah. And if I feel a grip that's kind of slick, I'm the same way. I just don't swing yep. the same way. Definitely. And it's like an interesting one was when I first was testing this driver. We were using uh, a demo one yep. which you lent me and had a pure grip had on it, which grip. is much smoother. Than this, no texture. No, no sort of, yeah, no texture, and, um, you know, no kind of, you know, different compounds. Yeah. Just the same sort of, you know, standard sort of tour Very velvet standard. sort of uh, design to it. Yeah, and had that out on the course for a week or so. Mm -hmm. And again, like hit it well, yeah. but the minute I got mine built up with the grip, I mm -hmm. started swinging like a hundred times better. And yeah. I know for sure, just confidence wise, just feel more comfortable and you, you just tend to swing, I think, a little bit more aggressively. Definitely. Yeah, I think that's exactly right. You guys, you can't overlook mm. the only part of the golf club that you hold. Yeah. You know, if, if, that's, if that's the only part that you have any kind of connection with, you, you absolutely can't overlook that as, uh, as an afterthought. So mm. um, when you're getting fitted and, and when you're kind of going through that process, you know, you've got you've to take the time to mm. pick the right grip and, uh, mm. and make sure you've got the right one. So let's kind of look at the, the numbers. And we saw some really interesting stuff uh, yeah. on, on your own testing, Matty. So we went cord grip versus wind dry tech. And that's nothing against wind. That's, that's, a, no. that's a texture that we're kind of comparing it to. Just an example of something that's mm. smooth. Honestly, it's an example of a grip yeah. that I'm not comfortable with because it's a little more slippery. There, there could be you know, a number of other brands that yep. offer a grip like that. It's nothing against yeah, wind. Even Golf Pride's Tour Velvet. I don't yeah. swing well with those either. Exactly. So um, let's look, kind of look firstly at the delivery numbers. You swung the golf club two and a half miles an hour faster with the cord grip. Amazing, right? Yeah, sub completely subconscious. Yeah, you weren't you weren't consciously doing anything different, and, no. and we can see that because the efficiency was exactly the same. Yeah, so striking them well, obviously, to With get both. the energy transfer yep. out of it, and actually hit the um, wind grip second, which mm -hmm. usually for me is the second thing we test. We'll often go back to the first to retest. Yeah, you always so we the balance second one's the better, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because I always swing faster and I'm more comfortable. Mm -hmm. But in this case, even that being the second test, yep. actually substantially slower. Exactly. Um, so that was that was very interesting. The the kind of next part was the face control. Mm. So you're able to uh, 
kind of square the face with yours. You weren't able to square the face with the wind grip and we actually deleted some fairly sizable left big old misses slices, yeah. just because you were kind of hanging on to it a little yep. bit. Um, your hands, you know, you'll, you'll kind of admit this, your hands tend to perspire a little more than, you know, 100%. mine, for example. Mine yeah. don't uh, an awful lot. You know, my yeah. hands are relatively, you know, relatively dry. Mm. Um, so, you know, I could probably swing something with a softer texture mm. easier because, you know, less You're not feeling slidey. That. Yeah, I'm not feeling like that club could kind of, you know, slip out my yep. hands or, or lose control. So, uh, but that you being the case for you, Matthew, you don't feel like you have the same control of the no. face or are able to access the same amount of speed. I think just having in your brain at all, which I did, that mm. oh, this is kind of slippery, I don't want to let yeah. go of this. The minute that's in my brain, my swing is mm -hmm. compromised to some degree. Yeah. And it's interesting to see the numbers behind what that means. Yep. It means less speed, <clears throat> and it means a little bit of this kind of hold off. Because yeah. I think the hold off is me going, ah, like don't let go of it. Trying to kind of hang on a little and bit. And you sort of mm -hmm. don't release your hands the way you normally would. Definitely, you're, you're just trying to kind of keep the, the club in your hands. Yeah. And looking at the numbers, there wasn't anything between the launch and spin that no. really kind of you would say was bad in any way, shape or form. It just didn't, it wasn't as accurate, it wasn't as consistent mm -hmm. um, and you just didn't swing with as much speed. Um, 100%. And I think it's important to say this test could be reversed for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Somebody yeah. else might get the firm grip with cord texture and be like, this doesn't feel nice. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. swing it and it feels rough to them. And as, as soon as they're conscious of that, mm -hmm. they'll probably make better swings and hit better numbers with this style grip. For sure, for but sure. you got to test them out. Guys, the devil's in the detail with these things. Mm. Um, you know, the, the grip, as I said, I'll repeat that again, that's saying the only part of the golf club that you actually have a connection to cannot be overlooked, um, yeah. you know, as, as just a minor detail. It's a major detail. There's, there's three components, the grip, the shaft, the head. Every one of them matter. Mm. The right size, the right texture, the right rate of taper, um, you know, it's not brand related, same as in here, it's not when it you know, com comes to the heads and shafts, it's not brand related, no. it's, it's performance characteristics and design characteristics that matter to you guys mm. to make sure that you can absolutely swing and deliver that golf club the best that you can. So don't overlook grips uh, for, for that reason and just go, I'll just take whatever it comes with. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing is at least be conscious of it. Yeah. If you are at a place like here where they can blow grips on and off, that's which you did, definitely. that is the sweet thing to have because mm -hmm. you, you were able, we did this the first time I got fit here. Yeah. You asked me, do you feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. with that grip? I said yes. Mm -hmm. And you put a multi-compound on and I, I just felt more comfortable with it. Yeah. So if you can't do that, at least swing some different clubs that a fitter has built up definitely. that have different styles. I can tell you of many scenarios where our customers have come in and, and our standard uh, grips have either been too big or too small mm -hmm. or too slippy or too something. And honestly, if, if, we hadn't, if we didn't have the ability to blow a grip off and blow on something they were more comfortable with, to be honest, they, 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 we would have wasted the customer's time. Yep. Maybe the customer would have had to probably went away or not, not get any benefit from happy. the process. So, um, you know, we're very fortunate um, that we're able to do that, but that's because that, those details matter you to us. You must do it. Well, think about this fitting, for example. If I came in, you probably would have said, oh, oh, I need to close the face, yes, you're leaving the left. And you'd be the yeah. draw driver. <laughs> exactly, get, you know, try a, yeah, exactly. Try a draw weighted yeah. driver up your loft or whatever you have to say. But that's, uh, yeah, it's another variable that needs to be considered, you know, potentially just as much as mm -hmm. everything else. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. But, uh, you know, it's, it's something that shows up, you know, how many people would scratch around for three miles in our ball speed increase? And you know, who would, think, who would think that, you know, changing your grips, you can access, you know, a little bit, yep. of, uh, a little bit of extra speed. So, Crazy. Um, interesting stuff. Great stuff, yeah. Yeah. Uh, guys, you know, like we said, devil's in the detail with this mm. stuff. Uh, it's so important not to overlook, um, you know, these, these sort of details, the length, the grip, the, you know, everything. You know, go through, go through a process of coming in, seeing your local fitter, mm. and getting to try some with different, you know, maybe it's two wraps of tape, maybe it's, you know, a wrap plus two extra under the bottom hand, whatever you like, you know, find out what you like. Yeah. Um, and, and then so sort of go from there. 100%. Excellent. Guys, I hope this was useful uh, and informative. Please leave your comments below as always. I uh, would love to hear what you guys think if yeah. you have your own preferences or maybe you had overlooked this as a, as a, uh, a sort of a, an element of design uh, that you want to kind of factor into mm -hmm. your clubs. Uh, and if you need any advice, obviously, you know, we're happy to, to kind of advise you on some of the grip options. There's so many mm -hmm. of them out there. Um, so we, we want to make sure you guys have the absolute best, most optimized equipment awesome. that you can possibly get. Yeah. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you again soon.